Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new quick tip by Janus Engineering. Last time we demonstrated how to install NX tools and focused on the PDTM tool up here. But before I explain it, let us first take a look at the part I've opened up. As you see, there's an existing part and there are also some PMIs attached to it. For instance, the 8H7 tolerance hole here. There is also a width of the part of 56 millimeters with a tolerance of zero and minus two millimeters. But when I measure the width in here, I will see that the distance itself is on the part is actually 56 millimeters, so it's not in the middle of the tolerance. The same goes for the slot on here, for the slot depth, and also for the fitting up here. So when I measure the fitting, I see that the diameter is exactly 8 millimeters. Okay, now let me open up the PTM tool. What we see in here are a lot of PMIs listed. So when I click this very first one, I will also see that the PMI that is meant by that line is also highlighted in my visual area here. What can I do with that tool now? I can bring this dimension on the part to the middle of its tolerance. And how do I do that? First of all, I have to click on the middle dimension in here. Now I can see that the middle dimension is supposed to be 55. The upper tolerance is supposed to be one millimeter plus, and the lower tolerance is supposed to be one millimeter minus. But before I can just let go and work it out, so that the part will have the, the 55 millimeters on the width, I have to decide which side has to be moved. And I can do that by clicking the cycle through faces to be moved. Once I see the face is being highlighted now, and I also will see that the arrow, that means which direction the face will move. So that was the first cycle on the right side. I don't want the right side to be the only one moved. So let's click another one. I see the left side is being highlighted. And when I click a third time, I see that both faces are highlighted and they both will move towards each other shown by the arrows. So when I decide the solution to be as good, I will click on apply and now we'll see that the PMI has changed down to 55 plus minus one millimeter. And let's measure that out. From this face to this face, they are now 55 millimeters evenly. So not just the width of the part can be changed or modified. I can also do the same thing with this fitting up here. I'm just clicking the PMI that it belongs to Middle dimension is activated, and then apply. And now the hole got its actual middle dimension. What else is possible? Let's click on the face on in here, or this PMI. We see that the radius is also highlighted. I also want the radius to be in the middle of its dimension. There we are, 6.45 millimeters. What else is there? Look at the slot bottom. I want it to go to the middle dimension. One click, OK. The slot will move upward, so that's actually okay for me. Once more, apply it. And then another special case is down here at the bottom. As you see, the slot in its width has a tolerance of eight plus or minus 0.2 millimeters, but the left side of the slot has a dimension to the left side of the part with 41 minus one millimeter and plus two millimeters. But when I will move this dimension on that side to the right side, this will have an effect on the slot width. Therefore, I have to work it out a little bit more specific. Because of this, I have to select an additional face that has to be moved. So not only the left side of the slot will be moved, but also the right side. So let me just select the second wall of the slot. And when I click on apply, now I see that the 41.5 millimeter is now in the middle of its dimension and the slot did not change at all. It's still eight millimeters in width plus or minus 0.2 millimeters. So let's figure out if it's still accurate or not. I can make a dimension or a measurement in here that seems to be right. I can take a look at the slot width. It's still eight millimeters. That's also good. I can take it that I already checked the 55 millimeters. What about the fitting? When I click on the circle, I see that the dimension is correct. But what happens to the other radius of the part? Let me measure that one out real quick. As we can see, this radius got changed to 3.2250 millimeters. But what about the others? They're also being changed automatically by the system. Why did it happen that way? Actually, the designer created the PMIs absolutely correctly. He put one dimension in here with four times this and that tolerance. But he associated all other objects to it on his own. So therefore, the PDTM tool knew where did this change needed to be added. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for your attention. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.